So all the talk seems to be surrounding Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang at the moment. Let's take a look at his debut for Borussia Dortmund, where he came off the bench in a 4-2 victory over Bayern Munich in the DFL Super Cup in July 2013. It'll be interesting to see how many of that Dortmund 11 are still there. Roman Weidenfeller. One of the few players in this list who has actually stuck around Borussia Dortmund, Roman Weidenfeller is into his 15th season at the club, although at the age of 37 he's hardly commanding a starting spot anymore. The five-time German international will see his contract expire this summer. Kevin Groschkutz. A man with the most impossible name to pronounce, Kevin Groschkutz, or Hank as I will refer to him from now on, called time on his six year stay at Dortmund in 2015, signing for Galatasaray. Because the Turkish club cleverly failed to submit the relevant documentation before the transfer window closed, FIFA refused him permission to play, and so the man basically lost six months of his career before signing for Stuttgart in January 2016. Probably to spite the Turks more than anything. He's currently at SV Darmstadt. Nevan Subotic. It seems strange that Nevan Subotic, a Champions League finalist in 2013, came close to signing for Middlesbrough last season. But then again, when you remember who else was in that team, maybe it wasn't so strange. The Serbian international never did end up in the Northeast, probably for the best considering what happened to them, and only last week signed for San Didier. Mats Hummels. This was a transfer that plunged through Borussia Dortmund like a knife. It's hard enough competing for trophies alongside your rivals without selling them your best players every year. Mario Götze and Robert Lewandowski had both made the switch to Bayern Munich in recent years, but Dortmund fans must have felt they had a good chance of hanging on to Hummels. After all, this was a man they had rescued from the dusty basement of Munich eight years earlier, where he was unused and unwanted. He was given a career at Dortmund, emerging as one of the world's top centre halves, before tipping his hat and returning to where he came from. He's since won the league, obviously. Marcel Schmelzer. Finally, we found another lad who's managed to stick it out at Dortmund. The unfortunately named Marcel Schmelzer had been at the club for the length of his career, making 329 appearances, although he's after falling out of favour this season. Nori Sahin. The tale of Nori Sahin has always been a lesson to some exiting Dortmund players that the grass is not always greener. A Bundesliga winner in 2011, he had decided not to stick around for the second win, instead choosing to put out the cones of training for Ronaldo, Benzema and the rest of the clearly superior players at Real Madrid. Four league appearances later, he was spat out to Liverpool on loan. Things didn't go much better there, he only played seven times in the Premier League. Since 2013, he's been back at Dortmund, with both player and club awkwardly trying to avoid bringing up when he walked out of them for supposedly bigger things. Sven Bender. One of the great Bundesliga battles was whenever the Bender boys went up against each other. And no, that's not a slur. Twins Lars and Sven have been battling each other for Bayer Leverkusen and Borussia Dortmund respectively for years. Sven, capped seven times by his country, spent eight years with Dortmund, until he finally joined his brother at Leverkusen last summer. The Bender mother must be so proud. Jacob Blaszkowski. Fun fact about Jacob Blaszkowski. When he was younger, he always dreamed of captaining his country in a major tournament. And that's exactly what he did at Euro 2012. He's also the third most capped player in Polish history with 97. The 32-year-old winger was something of a hero for Dortmund too, with 32 goals and 252 appearances. Marco Royce may have stolen the headlines when he wasn't lane stricken in the treatment room, but this man was almost every bit as dangerous, particularly excelling with 14 strikes during the 12-13 season, where Jurgen Klopp's men reached the Champions League final. But he left in 2016, signing for Wolfsburg, where he scored one goal in 39 games. Ilkay Kandou so where's Ilkay Gundogan been since 2013? Well, I'm going to say he spent most of his time pestering the physio for painkillers and bandages. The German midfielder has been so unfortunate with injuries. He came close to signing for Manchester United two years ago, before ending up in Manchester with the blue half. He's made 43 appearances in two seasons. And let's not forget that time he smashed his knee and so half his teammates seemed to think he was dead. Marco Royce. Speaking of another man cursed by injury, how can you not feel sorry for Marco Royce? Injuries forced him to miss both the 2014 World Cup and Euro 2016. Heartbreaking for him, considering he would have a World Cup medal if it weren't for his dodgy ankles. I'm also fairly convinced if the man's limbs weren't made of tinfoil that he would have been out the door a long time ago, signing for one of Europe's elite. I mean, if Nori Sahin got a move to Real Madrid, Royce has scored 89 goals in 189 games for the club. Since making the switch from Borussia Mönchengladbach in 2012, at the age of 28, there's still time for one last big move, but let's be honest, his injury record would scare anyone away. Robert Lewandowski. Maybe Borussia Dortmund were already preparing for Robert Lewandowski's departure when they signed Aubameyang in 2013. The poll had been in blistering form that season, netting 36 as they reached Wembley. By November, he'd already signed a pre-contract with Bayern Munich. He's since scored 134 goals in 175 games for the Bavarians, won three successive league titles and a host of individual awards. And to think it was just a volcanic ash cloud which prevented him from signing for Blackburn Rovers in 2010. Well, don't worry lads, at least with Nikola Kalinic and Jason Roberts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.